Hello Wolves and welcome to another vlog today about Bitcoin and an amazing run 2019 from $4,000 to $12,000 that it's like three times multiply which is amazing and I will tell you exactly why it will reach new heights and why it's uh, multiplied by three times already this year what is driving this rally and this run uh, before we continue subscribe hit the bell and like and share the videos if you want to know anything about uh, money business and entrepreneurship finances stay tuned let's go So Bitcoin, the digital currency or the digital currency out there on the market uh, just had an amazing run this year. You know, we went from around $3,961 on the 1st of January and now we are middle of the year and are around just below 12 thousand dollars guys so it's not the top of bitcoin ever which was on december 2017 but it's going in that direction and that quickly guys oh my god so basically let's dive into a couple of topics today around bitcoin so first of all i would love to uh, tell you a little bit what bitcoin is which technology it is behind why it's so successful the history of bitcoin and why it's raising just the last couple of weeks and months and uh, then uh, why it will reach new heights as well so let's start with the technology so the technology behind bitcoin and what makes it so safe and the digital gold of uh, of the internet is basically the blockchain technology the blockchain technology is a kind of uh, crypting technology which is very very safe because you know imagine like you have a small village and uh, everybody would know uh, each bank account amount okay so as you know then uh, the the different amounts uh, can be faked by the people saying hey i have this kind of amount on my bank account but imagine a small village where there would be huge billboard and everybody has to write his bank amount uh, on this uh, billboard and signed by different people so you would have a public announced uh, index where you can see all the transactions and it has to be signed by each person so to fake it you would need to get all the signature by the people and everybody would know that something is fishy there and it would be not valid anymore so this in very very simplistic form is blockchain where basically you know all transactions are uh, public and uh, uh, signed uh, after each other and against each other that's why the miners come in place which gives the computer power as well to you know uh, uh, make uh, bitcoin and blockchain running and uh, basically uh, it's a very very safe technology and that's why it's so famous to uh, nowadays that you know bitcoin is the next thing uh, a second important thing is that uh, Bitcoin is limited to 21 million Bitcoins ever be released and uh, in mind actually, you know, there's miners that, you know, use uh, computer powers to mine Bitcoins and that's why they're basically connecting their uh, high processing power like computers with a big graphic uh, cards uh, and very good uh, powerful graphic cards and that's why you see uh, the GeForce and other companies that do graphic cards uh, uh, raise their prices and the, the, the prices uh, on, the, on the market was very very high for graphic cards because there was so much demand for these uh, items and you know it was a hype when Bitcoin went up so you have basically the technology the the the, the open ledger uh, uh, technology behind it then you have the miners 
and you have the limited amount of, of bitcoins that can ever be mined. So this, you know, there, there's demand uh, on the bitcoins and more and more rising demand. That means the price go up for a limited amount of, um, of bitcoins available. But in the end, bitcoin don't pay any interest. They don't, any, they don't pay any dividend. So it's not like a um, property or stock that maybe uh, gives you additional value or other than just its price. Coming to the history, so Bitcoin is around already a couple of years and you know 2010 the Bitcoin was worth 10 cents and uh, to, uh, December 2017 it was up to almost $20,000 per Bitcoin, okay? And it was like crazy everywhere in the news, you know? And by then you could also see that the bubble coming up because everybody was trying to invest into Bitcoin, you know, and this is uh, where you see bubbles actually very, very clearly when like everybody says you have to invest in it, you have to find, t uh, uh, you have to find money to invest in it and get, uh, it will be sure growing and growing like from taxi drivers to people on the streets. I really let the normal people start to invest and everybody's speaking about us. This is usually a type of bubble where, or a good indicator that bubble is going up. So same was with the property market in 2018 in the US where basically uh, you had, uh, you know, uh, all the people in US having one or two properties and buying more because they thought it's going up and up and up. So this is a good indicator for a bubble, which then even uh, brought the pros on the game because around also this time to December 2017, it was when the Chicago uh, exchange, uh, an exchange for options and, and future tradings announced that they will offer shorts on Bitcoin. So you could basically gamble, let's say, in the financial world against the high price or even higher price uh, and make money when the Bitcoin falls and this was you know when it got introduced and with the hype a Bitcoin got a little bit uh, uh, more higher and then fall you know and continued to fall until 2019 December when it was to to the bottom since you know that time and now going back up again there are a couple of things uh, why I think Bitcoin will go up so first one part is the Facebook coin that comes out Libra uh, I think this uh, brings uh, the topic uh, cryptocurrency uh, back to life because people think like if Facebook, such a, you know, a 400 billion dollar gorilla invest in this technology, you know, everything uh, related to cryptocurrency will go up again. And the second thing is that you see that the general market has cheap money from the Federal Reserve, you know, starting uh, beginning of this year, you know, stocks as well had the crazy run. So Bitcoin, of course, as a financial instrument and an uh, investment opportunity, of course, uh, rose with this wave as well. And this is just one man opinion. I think that uh, Bitcoin can can be really sustainable. Uh, because you know we have seen that uh, as as soon as, as it, or it's called digital gold. Gold is usually you know a part or a commodity. When everything goes down, gold keeps its uh, its value, and people invest in gold because it's a safe haven. So when we talk about digital gold, usually when prices or money goes out of the stock market, people should buy more Bitcoin. And this was actually not the case. So the whole idea about digital gold as a safe heaven alternative to the normal gold was not given. So I think this was a good indicator that, you know, with the next crisis, whatever, I don't think people will go into Bitcoin and hold the money in Bitcoin. So, but again, that's just me, the wolf of Dubai, uh, having an opinion on something so, let me know what you think guys i love to hear your comments uh, share like subscribe and hit the bell to get notified directly when i launch a new video and uh, never forget the grass is greener on the other side <laughs>